What's up, everybody? This is Daryl. I'm Michael. We're talking yeah. comics at Big Bang for the week of December. Second. Is it December 2nd? Oh, man. Lots of comics coming out this week. Tons. So prepare your wallets. It's Christmas season. Good times had by all. Right, Michael? Yeah, man. Tis the season. Tis the season. Now, there's a lot of things coming out this week. I want to start off this week with talking about things people should... Tr oh, wait. Before we get into that. You need to be here for the Christmas edition of our Big Bang Talks Comics meeting, you. Monday, December 7th, at 6.30 p.m. Be here. We're going to have prizes. Team No, one half of Team No is going to be defending their comic trivia championship. We're going to have a few other... One Josh half. not going to be here? I say at least one half's going to be here. Josh, you better be there, man. You better be there. Monday, December 7th at 6.30. We're going to have uh, prizes. We're going to have food. You need to RSVP by email, emailing us at contact at bobbygbang.com. And you can win a limited edition Batman print autographed by the inker uh, from the Court of Owls. Really awesome piece. It's in a video we've already posted. I'll try to drop the image in here. Uh, but what? But basically, you want to be here. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be a Christmas edition. Always fun. And uh, we're going to be giving away some prizes. It's going to be a good time. Yeah, and we're going to and we're going to talk comics as that's what we do. So and that's what we do. So we our, talk comics. So do what the screen says and RSVP now because it's next Monday. Be there. All right. You want to talk comics this week? Let's do it. All right. Books that people need to try this week. Number one, Action Verse Number Zero from Action Lab Entertainment. It's basically kind of a superhero universe book. It's kind of an indie book, but it's a book that you might want to try and look at this week. It's a book to look at. Action. I've never heard of it. Imagine the Ultraverse or the Image Comics universe launching it with a number zero. 20 different creators in one book. It, it, it looks, to me, I, I say it's a look at book. Garfield's Cheesy Holiday Special. It's Christmas time. Why not? Try it. Take a look at it. Seduction of the Innocent, number one. Oh, that sounds cool. By Dynamite Entertainment, which is really, it's really, uh, it's kind of like that uh, crime noir kind of horror fiction. But basically, you have a man where all the crime lords are being murdered, but killers are waiting to take their place. And there's this one lone man in a town trying to protect his family, uh, but stand up for justice. It looks pretty cool. It looks like a book you might want to try. It's from Dynamite Entertainment, Seduction of the Innocent, number one. Say, I mean, it looks like a book I might want to try. I think it looks like a book. Uh, it looks kind of interesting. Is it a Michael book? It might be a Michael book. might be a Michael book. It might be. So, Michael, do you want to do Marvel or do you want to do DC first? Let's just go down the line, DC. All right, DC Comics. Action Comics number 47. Greg Pak, Superman. Need I say more? Man, hey, Action Comics is actually getting better. Like, I, I've been digging it. It's. I think at this point, it's probably the bright spot in the whole Superman I don't know, Truth. man. Romina Jr. Romina Jr. did a great job. On what? Superman. No, I'm talking about right now with this storyline going on. Look at those Christmas presents going past. We got them at Big Bang. We do. So yeah, Action Comics 47 is a bright spot in the books. Yeah. Um, uh, Superman, Batman's probably the lowest on the rung, or Batman, Superman. I can't remember who comes first. I think it's Batman, Superman. Yeah, yeah, it's Batman, Superman. Because it's Superman, Wonder Woman. One of these days it's going to be Wonder Woman, Batman. It used to be Superman, Batman, like what, 10 years ago? Yeah, Jeff Lowe. Now Long. it's Batman, Pub Superman. Public Enemies, that was a recommended reading right there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, definitely. Action Comics 47, uh, the, tr <clears throat> the Truth storyline. Vandal Savage and Superman are going to be going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Uh, this is something, if you're a Vandal Savage fan, like Legends of Tomorrow, you're going to want to want to check out the book. I like Vandal Savage's uh, older look, you know? But um, I like his older look. You know, he had, he had almost a Sebastian Shaw kind of look going. You know what I mean? Now he's got the long hair and the beard and everything. I mean, that Vandal Savage is awesome either way, though. And uh, they seem like they're hyping him up right now. I'm, I wonder why. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> you know, but hey, if anybody deserves it in the DC universe, it's, it's Lex Van Luthor, Vandal Savage. Vandal Those Savage. Like, and then you got Dark Side. Well, yeah, I'm talking about the Earth villains. You know. Okay, well, I see what you're saying. Yeah. He's immortal, though. He's immortal. Vandal Savage is immortal. He's an immortal caveman. He's Vandal Savage. I, at least as he used to be. I don't know about the new 52. All I know is the guy, The guy. he's going to be, he's hard to, uh, Deathstroke's up there as well, so. Well, yeah. Deathstroke, I don't know, he was real popular a couple of years ago, and it seems like he's losing some traction. But that's yeah, just... man. I blame a new Bennett, man. He didn't come back. He hasn't been, well, he came back for like, what, an episode of season three of Arrow? We haven't seen him since. Best thing about Arrow, and they just don't. 
I'm actually I'm one episode behind the big crossovers this week on the CW yeah. Flash, uh, Arrow, Green Arrow, and Hawkman, Hot Girl, The Legends of Tomorrow are probably in their play. Legends of Today. Well, The Legends of Today, but then The Legends of Tomorrow. Then The Legends of Tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to Captain Cold being on the team. That's all I got to say. I'm really looking forward to that. But anyway, we'll move on. All-Star Section 8, number 6, last issue. Oh, man, I've loved this book. Uh, it's Garth Ennis. You know, I'm a Garth Ennis fan. Yeah, he's just... Garth Ennis is wild. And uh, All-Star Section 8 has been... Uh, it, it's more of a satire kind of a book. You know, it's got a uh, six-pack. And he's kind of just this drunk. But he thinks he has a superhero team. And, like, each book has had, like, a different Justice League member in it. And like six pack, it's it's just been really fun and gross like and wrestling. weird. I mean, it's Garth Ennis, so you know it's going to be kind of gross and just kind of Garth juvenile Ennis, humor. Garth Ennis writes it most of the time. It's going to have some type of vulgarity to it. Yeah, yeah. Some lesser than others. It, it's yeah. It don't, I don't, I don't, it's not really vulgarity. It's just kind of. A different kind of vulgarity. It's not like a lot of. I mean, he wrote Preacher. Like I think. And the boys. I and think uh, where monsters dwell for Marvel is the easiest going thing he's written. Yeah, yeah. You know, All lot. Star Section Eight's a little bit above that because yeah. it, it is kind of gross. I don't can't. I don't want to say disgusting, but it is. It has kind of like a gross factor to it. His Punisher run was good too. Uh, was, <clears throat> I've always heard that. Yeah. I, 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 I haven't read his that. Punisher run. I mean, I've never read a single Punisher comic in my life. Merry Christmas to this guy. I need to read Punisher. He's lonely. Anyway, speaking of the Punisher, we'll get to that later. But all right, Batman and Robin, uh, Eternal number nine. We don't need to say much about that. Weekly book. We're, we've, you, we speculated you, on it last week. Have you been, have you been reading? I've are been you reading. Up? Have you caught up? I'm not giving anything else away. No, I haven't read last issue. What we have seen or mother? Yeah. Yeah. Don't give anything away. I don't know. I'm not gonna give nothing away. It's getting good. Is it Talia? No, no, it's a new character. Or, or at least as the story is right now, Mother is a new this new character. Batman needs a new character. I like her. Like she's like programming people or something. Like uh, they're making it look like uh, Bruce is trying to marry like a, a like kind of like a Russian mail order bride or something. But it's like like they he has like criteria that you can meet. You know, like. Like, you tell them what you want, and they create this person for you. I don't know if it's like they uh, brainwash somebody or, like, whatever, but it's, it's weird. And uh, We actually work here. <laughs> yeah, we do. We do. Some people don't. <laughs> but we do. Hey, he reads Carnage and Deadpool. Don't you? Yes, I do. All right, moving on. <laughs> Batman and Batman and Robin Eternal number nine comes out weekly book. Yeah. Uh, got another twenty. How many more issues we got? Sixteen more issues. Yep. Maybe seventeen. It's done. So anyway, Batman uh, Beyond number seven. Batman Arkham Knight number eleven. No Cyborg number five. Cyborg has been good, man. I like Same guy writes Cyborg. Walker uh, David Walker is going to be writing Power Man and Iron Fist. It's going to be awesome. Oh yeah, I'm I'm excited about that book. It's going to be good. Uh, Cyborg has been good. I mean, uh, we've talked about it enough. I think you know. Yeah, it's good. Gotham, Check it out. Gotham Academy number twelve. That's a Caitlin favorite. We yeah, have, I'm I mentioning it. it because uh, it's kind of a fun Gotham book. It's like Buffy meets Gotham, is the way I would put it. That's cool. That's cool. Green Lantern forty seven. Hal Jordan is still out there looking like Star Lord. <clears throat> I mean, uh, oh, a renegade looking like Star Lord. He looks like a dang dirty hippie. Oh, hey, man. <laughs> just joking. Don't offend our hippie viewers. I'm <laughs> it's a joke. It's like Charlton Heston said that. You know, it's, it's with it. <clears throat> I'm just joking, man, but, you know. No, it's no, how jo It's how Jordan, man. How Jordan. I like how Jordan. Well, I, I want to see the book become the number one book as like it used to be. They, I was just talking to some friends about that yesterday. I'm actually relieved I don't have to a lie. Lot, a lot of my friends always want to talk crap about how Jordan, you know, and I'm just like, man, how, how is awesome. At the start of the new 52, Batman and Green Lantern were where it was at. Like, Green Lantern and Batman had the top sellers. They didn't need the new 52. They, yeah, were, already, they, they were already the top sellers. Yeah, they didn't. Yeah, it gets on my nerves. They've really, ever since John's left the book. And I didn't even like that much of John, the, the tail end of John's run. Gasp! Well, I mean, it was okay, but it wasn't great. 
It was but, great, man. That whole thing was good start to finish. Have you read Aquaman? John's, John's run on Aquaman? I've read most of it, but not, not, the te- not the very beginning. I need to go back and read the beginning. <clears throat> anyway, but we, we Green want Lantern. Re- restore the greatness. Yeah, restore which, the greatness. Which in Dark Side War, the Justice League book, it's really good. Um, we've talked yeah, about that, that a lot before. Awesome. We've talked about that a lot before. I mean, Justice League Dark Side War is a must read in the DC Universe. Talked to a lot of customers here. Justice League Dark Side War is one of the best books DC's offering yeah. right now. Yeah, totally. <clears throat> we got Harley's Little Black Book number one. Harley Quinn gets a new book. Also, this month, Harley Quinn, the Black, uh, the black Bag Variants. In some of the variants, you're going to get prints or sketch covers. Some you're going to get uh, pencil covers. I don't know. They've got a variety of covers. You don't know what you're going to get unless you open the bag. Sounds cool. Pretty cool. Sounds cool. Also, big book this week, Robin War, number one. Robin War. Robin War. I'm we excited are excited about Robin We are War. Robin, Grayson. Uh, yeah, Robin has gotten good, man. Yeah. We are Robin's actually pretty good. I like Yeah, him. I like Duke. I, I, knew, like, I, like I, knew, I knew he would be a Robin back in the, the end game run. Yeah, sure. I did. I said it actually right here if you were watching, people. I, I said it. I might have been watching. I probably I was watching, but... You were just a young pup back then. I was a young pup. So, but Robin Ward number one. Teen Titans number 14. I only mentioned that because it's Teen Titans, and Teen Titans is about to get a new creative team. Uh, Hopefully. It- finally. So I dropped it at, like, number three. Haven't looked back since. And have no regrets. But Titans no Hunt's regrets. good. Titans Hunt's awesome. Yeah. Unfollow number two. Ooh, just got announced for a TV series just a couple weeks ago. Number ones are still here in the store somewhere. Have you read number one? It's I already know the premise, but no, I haven't. You know, number two. The comes holidays, out. man. I was hoping to binge read on the holidays. It could not happen. It's gonna happen for me, man. I I, I binge read a bunch on uh, Thanksgiving, but uh, I was too busy eating on Thanksgiving. I ate, and then I went back to read. You ate, napped, and then read. No, I didn't nap. Ate, read, then napped. No, I, did you nap at all? I, I read, ate, read. Oh man! Woke up, started reading. He's a machine. I am a machine. But unfollow number one. You want to talk a little bit about? I it? I haven't read it. Um, yes. I, actually, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow whenever number two comes out, and I'm gonna read number one Straight and two. Up. That's exactly what I was gonna do. Ha ha! Hey man, great minds. So, but yeah, unfollow number two. Definitely will check it out. With it being announced for a new TV show being in development, might be a book worth checking out. Yeah, definitely. With that said, let's jump to Marvel. Marvel. Is, with all these number ones and these new titles, pretty much everything's good, in my opinion. And what did they just announce about Secret Wars number nine? It got delayed a week later. Till 2016. It comes out the first week in January. It's not like it's been an event. A lot of people are kind of over it. Going on. I know. I, at this point, you know, I, I love I loved Secret, Secret Wars. Secret Wars is great. It's been great. It's it was been, awesome. This is a knock against Marvel. I'm just... I'm, I, don't, I, don't, I don't... It's not that I don't care anymore. I want to know what happens, but... Man, ANAD. All new, all different right now. That's where it's at. And... Yeah, it's too bad. It's too bad. We, we, it's too bad it, they're, it's, they're delaying it. It's going forward, man. The Marvel Universe has changed. Everything at, We're seeing everything that's happened after Secret Wars, but Secret Wars is still going on. Yeah, it got delayed one more week. It's At least it's not too far after Christmas. See, I heard they didn't even add a book, that they just ended up splitting up they split. Seven. They split seven and eight. Yeah. And they lowered the price. Sorry, but... It's still a cash grab. Yeah, I mean, to to I think what happened, like if you read Secret Wars two, T O O number one, you see where Hickman pitches Secret Wars. Hickman wrote the story. It's kind of a go- it's a goofy look. They're at a Marvel retreat. He basically pitches the story for Secret Wars, and everybody at Marvel loves it. He goes to the bathroom and pukes, and he's like, "I don't have an ending. I don't have an ending." Yeah. And the funny thing is, it kind of looks that way. But I, I think I think a lot of times when you do a big story like this, you got to have the art just right. Uh, you know, who knows? I've loved the art. I've, man, I've loved Secret Wars. Uh, most of the tie-ins were awesome. Also, like anytime you have something like this, you gotta end it right, or it's a complete bomb. Like Convergence was a bomb. It was a bomb through and through. I Brainiac mean. crying. All I know is you had a. Well, I don't. We talked about Convergence way back. I'm not even gonna go there. Yeah, but let's no, talk yeah. Marvel. All new, all different Avengers number two. Which number one had a cool story with Miss Marvel and Nova in the back. <laughs> and it was adorable. In the back, like. It was great just seeing these two, you know, young teenagers trying not to mess try, up. Yeah, trying not to. They, they were all being all awkward, and in the, they, you know, it showed exactly what they were thinking. It was funny. And it, it, oh man, because it was really the first thing I not not the very first thing I've read with both characters, but with that much focus on just them. 
like it was pretty much the first thing I've read with Sam and Kamala and I really liked it a lot like I could you couldn't read it without just sitting there smiling cheesing from ear to ear because it was just so funny and I read Miss Marvel number one which was actually really good but because I read so much and she appears in this book all new all different Avengers I kind of don't need to keep reading it but if you like kind of a female Peter Parker uh, high school relatable character it's a it's a good book I like it I, I, I liked it and plus so, uh, you, know, you know it's it's like, it's like your your superhero fair there the other stuff going on yeah it's cool so we don't really we didn't really get a good it was just all set up you know yeah like we didn't really all new all different we don't, yeah we don't yeah. know exactly what's going to be going on this but, is number two which by the way stay tuned hey, for a major announcement regarding comics hold up but who's on it uh, that's Mar- not what I said Marvelous Mark Waite Marvelous Mark Waite he writes it that's right it's worth reading. You need to read it. Uh, if it's got his name on it, it's worth reading. Thor and, period. Thor and Fa- uh, Falcon or Captain America now kissing. What's up with that? You know, you got female Thor, Lady Thor. Caitlin eventually will know who Thor is. <laughs> anyway, eventually. read that book. All New Inhumans number one, written by Charles Soule. The Inhumans getting major love from Marvel uh, all across the I like board. It. I like it. It stars Crystal and uh, a, a younger team of Inhumans. I really, I like Crystal. She's, you know, she joined the Fantastic Four. She's part of the original Inhumans team. She used to be Johnny Storm's girlfriend. All New Inhumans looks really cool. I think it's worth a shot. Yeah, man, I'm buying it. Uh, at this point, man, I'm getting all the Inhumans books. Like, they've sold me Uncanny Inhumans. It's, uh, well, I mean, uh, Soul's writing on both, right? Yes. So, yeah, it's that's gotta enough be, for me to know. They're going to both tie. He, obviously, he's writing them both, so they're going to be tying together somehow. So Speaking of Charles Soule, Daredevil number one comes out this week. Oh, it does. Daredevil oh, number one. Man, I've been wanting to read Wade's run before I started this. <sighs> I need to read Wade's run. Anyway, Daredevil number one with his new sidekick, Blind Spot, and we still have his first appearance in all new Marvel Point One. It's on the shelf to my left. It's next to Michael, really. Just don't. But anyway, get that book, check it out. Daredevil number one, Charles Soule. Daredevil's hot right now. Uh, well, he'll be even hotter when season Deserve, two comes out on Netflix. So. Deservedly so. So Daredevil number one, definitely check it out. All new X-Men number one, written by Dennis Hopeless, art by Mark Bagley. The Tom displaced the original X-Men team uh, kind of traveling out on their own with a few additional members like all new Wolverine uh, and some others on the team. So if you like the mm-hmm. X-Men, check it out. I'll probably check it out. Extraordinary X-Men number three. Which Nightcrawler's tail gets cut off? Uh, it's, it's it's El Jefe, you know. It's Jeff Lemire. But Jeff Lemire. I don't know. I don't I like mean, the new costumes. I'll say that. I, I'm not big on the art and Humberto Humberto Ramos. I met in person. Really cool guy. But his art style isn't for everybody. It's okay, but it's my thing is the story's getting better. It got better at number two. I'll say that. I almost like, like him better on the X Men than I did Spider Man. That's just me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He he's he did. Uh, Colossus is massive. Yeah, he did Superior Spider-Man and everything, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. He did, yeah, he okay. did Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah, I I could take it or leave it. Like one of his best books he did independently was called Crimson, which we have the collected edition over there. I've never heard of it. It's really it's a vampire book. Back before vampires got all cool, with Twilight and all that. Well, not the vampires ever were uncool, but you know. What I mean. Don't know what you mean. Whatever, man. Vampires were Whatever. Always cool. Vampires were always cool. Yeah, Ask Dracula. Man, who doesn't like garlic? Come on. Well, watch he's, Lost Boys. He's weak. Dawn. Oh, Lost Boys. Eh, we're getting off track. They read comics in that movie. Uh, all right. Yeah, they did. Doctor Strange number three. Jason. Can't do no wrong. Aaron. He's Can't gonna, do any wrong. He wrote the book. Chris Boccolo doing the art. Doctor Strange. They're actually the movies in production in a role right now, and also the Marvel Select Doctor Strange figures on sale now. Perfect for that strange fan in your life for Christmas. It's gonna be. It's an awesome looking toy. I like Doctor. I've always liked Doctor Strange. And he just needs a good solid book behind him with Jason Aaron. It's gotta be. It's. It is good. It's good. I, I mean, I, this is a book I, I think I hyped up a lot in my mind. Didn't live up to it. Uh, not not as much as I was wanting. It seems like a better version of uh, the Constantine, the Hellblazer book that DC started a few months ago, like six months ago. No, people, people. It's good. Jason Aaron's good. Thor run people liked, but they, people didn't catch on until later on in the run. I'm hoping that's the case. Like that's I'm not saying happen. I don't like it. I do like it. Doctor Strange is a little different than I'm used to. You know, I, I'm not used to 
too snarky of a Doctor Strange. Like Doctor Strange is cocky, but he's kind of like a character that uh, more like he tries to overcome being cocky. You know, in this one, he seems like he's just kind of being snarky, and he's kind of a, a little bit of a player. You know. Well, he the is the Sorcerer Supreme. Yeah, I, I mean, it's cool. I haven't read much Doctor Strange. Most of my mm. experience with Doctor Strange was in Hickman's New Avengers. So. Read the Lee Ditko stuff. There's actually a great book by J. Michael Straczynski called Strange. Uh, it's Marvel Knights title. You also have Brian K. Vaughn's Doctor Strange, which yeah. had Night Nurse in it. I need to read the Oath. And then you have Mark Wade did a little Doctor Strange. Uh, I think it was called the... Uh, Brian, Brian K. Vaughn's, I think, was called The Oath. Yeah, I need to so, read The Oath. It's just good, you know, good little miniseries you can check out. You know, Also, you can order here at Big Bang Toys, Comics, and Games because... We got him. See if he's on track. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, Garden, Guardians of Infinity, number one, written by Dan Abnett. Dan Abnett introduces a new Guardians team, Guardians 1000. Awesome Dan Abnett, man. I'm on it. Guardians 3000. Hey, hey. Dan Abnett won me over with Guardians Volume 2. And I pretty much read anything he does now. He's on Hercules. Hercules number one was good. Uh, his He-Man stuff has been awesome. Dan Abnett writes it. I'm on it. Guardians 3000 was great. Guardians of Infinity will be great. Check it out. Number one. Howard the Duck number two. Howard the Duck. We talked about it. Invisible hey, Iron. Howard the Duck number one was awesome. The end. All right. Go did ahead. You, did you? It introduced a female Howard and a female Rocket Raccoon. Pretty cool. So... And Gwenpool's in there. It's Gwenpool's yeah, kind Gwenpool. of hot. So. Gwenpool, yeah. Hot, uh, well, at least it seems like people show a lot of interest. She seems to have, like, you know, she's in the heat index up there, man. So, yeah. <laughs> so, Howard the Duck 2, Invincible Iron Man number 4, which is solid. We've talked about it a lot. Uh, yeah, Bendis is surprising me through and through with this one. Nova number 2, he's reunited with his father, who is also in part of the Nova Corps. Red Wolf number 1. I yeah. think I'm, I, I wasn't too excited about this book, but I think I'm going to pick it up just out of curiosity. It's written by Nathan Evanson. He wrote Deathlock. He wrote Punisher. He wrote Black Widow. If you like that kind of stuff, Red Wolf... Uh, I, I don't know. I like 1872. It's a great book. 1872 was cool. It's a great but, book. But it's still, it's all going to still take place in 1872, isn't it? I don't think so. No. Well, okay, that'll that'll get me a little bit more interesting. No, no, no. I think he's from that world in in the current Marvel universe. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, Red Wolf number one. If you like Edmondson's Punisher, uh, especially, you want to check this out. Spidey number I'm one. Ah. I'm and skipping this an one. all ages Peter Parker, or it's a teenage uh, rating of uh, Spider Man back in high school in continuity book. This is the book, like, hey, if you don't like where Amazing Spider Man is now, people want to go back to his high school days, read Spidey number one. I'm going to read it because I've always loved Spider Man. I love Spider Man, but I like what they're doing right now. You know, I like I like adult Spider Man. I do too. Like college students. He's grown up, he's, but now he's finally grown up. Uh, that's what I like. I, I have I don't have much interest in reading. You know, little kid Spider Man. Well, you're gonna read it when like, Miles Morales comes out later, right? <laughs> okay. I'll read them in all new, all different Avengers, but I'm not. I Amazing Spider Man. That's all I'm reading. Gotta try it. Hey, man, have you seen the size of my five? I've seen week? We're not going to get into it. Star Wars 13, check it out. Vader Down, the crossover still continues. Vader Down. Star right. Wars in theaters, December 18th, correct? <sighs> Star well, Wars. We got 17 days, people. It's, it's coming. And we have all kinds of Star Wars books here. We've got the prequel to the movie, Shattered Empire. we got number one, two, three, and four, all complete individual issues and in trade paperback. You need to get yeah. it today. All the Star Wars books <clears throat> have been awesome. You need to read them. All right, we're going to try to run down. we got a few minutes left. Totally Awesome Hulk, number one, written by Greg Pak. I think I'm going to check it out, just to just to check it out. I would man. check it out because Greg Pak is, in the last ten years, he's been one of the best Hulk writers. Besides Mark Wade. I'm going to check it his out. Run, his run's great. World War Hulk, Planet Hulk, awesome. Totally Awesome Hulk, regardless if you like Amadeus Cho as Hulk, there is a Bandit Bruce Banner story that plays out in the book. You definitely want to check yeah, it out. I mean, I'm, I'm going to... I've never been... I like Hulk. I've just never read much Hulk. And it's like, I'm going to check this out. He's a faux Hulk. Yeah. <laughs> I got you. Oh, man. I'm going to check I, it out. I just came up with that. It's a Mo Hulk. Mo oh, there you go. Anyway, check it out. Totally awesome Hulk. Vision number two. Now, this. I, I bought it. It's, suburb, it's like suburban horror. It's see, weird. I see. I need to. I need to. I still need to read number like, one. It's I, like, I bought the hip hop variant just because I'm trying to buy a lot of those. So I like them. We got plenty of the hip hop variants. Yeah. But, those are awesome. But it's like superhero suburban horror. 
Uh, it's got this subtle suspense, subtle creepiness to it. So it's creepy. unlike anything Marvel is doing in the rest of their line. Really so good was book. It, was it like Stepper Wives or something? <laughs> sort of. <laughs> sort of. Not not quite like that. But you, you just, I would definitely say try number one. It's worth a shot. I'm definitely checking it out. All right. So that's Marvel. We're going to jump Marvel. to Independence. We're going to do some quick running down here. Blackjack Ketchum, number one. It's a Western from Image Comics. Check Sounds it out. Cool. Written by, I think it's Brian Shermer. Check it out. Citizen Jack, number two. Check it out. So number one is awesome. It's, it's a hilarious book. It's dark. It's funny. Check it out. Doc Savage, Spider's Web. For those that like a little adventure in their lives, Doc Savage has got a new number one written by Chris Robertson. Uh, uh, I've always liked the man of bronze. He's kind of an old school character. It's a mini series. Check it out from Dynamite Entertainment. Heroes Vengeance number two. Uh, if you like the show, Heroes Sh- Reborn. The show's been awesome. It fleshes out some of the characters worth reading. James Bond, number two. Dude, number Warren one. Warren Ellis. War- not for the week, Ellis, man. <laughs> Warren, not for the week, Ellis. I like. Yeah, them. yeah. We come up with these all the time. I like them. I, I these writers deserve. They deserve. They deserve names. They deserve names that make them stand out from the pack. Uh, well, yeah. uh, James Bond number two. You're making me want to pick up number one. I've yet to do it. But it was I'm, awesome. It, like, it was awesome. And Warren Ellis usually, if he writes it, I buy it. Yeah, dude. It's so, Warren even Ellis. trees, it's trees Warren. from Image was I, great. Uh, Injection really, really, is inject, intriguing. Injection is awesome. I really want to read trees. Moon Knight. His Moon Knight stuff need, is the best I ever. That. I need to read Extremis too, man. Extremis. That's actually over the recommended read. Yeah, there's classic stuff I need to read. Warren Ellis is great. Also, a book to try or look at this week is Jim Henson's Storyteller Dragons Number One. Uh, Pacific Rim, Tales from the Drift, number two. If you like Pacific Rim, the number two issue. I didn't uh, read number one, but, man, I kind of want to. I like Pacific Rim. I like Pacific man, Rim. Who don't, who don't like Kaiju? Dude, and, and Big Giant Robots, um, robots big, man. Big Giant Mechs, Kaiju, come on. Pacific Rim, check it out. It's before the movie takes place, so it fleshes out some of that. Paper Girls, number three. Image Comics, Plutona, number three. Paper Girls and Plutona, two, honestly, two of my favorite books. We got Brian K. Vaughn, El Jefe, Jeff Lemire on Plutona. Man... Uh, both both of them are just fantastic. Plutona, what it, Stand by Me with superheroes. Yeah, that's stand, exactly what it is. And Paper and it's Girls awesome. is kind of like a, like girls who deliver newspapers, but it's like time just there's like a there's something alien, weird. aliens it, invade it, and iPods. It, it, remi- it, it has this. I mean, it takes place in the eighties. Yeah. So I mean, it, and it does have this like super eight Goonies type feel to it, but you know, with all teenage girls, you know, right. you you've got the nerdy chick, then you've got the the. Uh, the, the uh, you know, too cool for school chick that smokes cigarettes and everything, but something, something crazy that looks like it's with aliens or people from the future, like monsters or something's going on. It's really cool. Like, check it out. Paper Girls is awesome. And it's Brian K. Vaughn, man. Saga, Why the Last Man. Like, it's Brian K. Vaughn. He's, he's done a lot. Uh, Ex Machina. He deserves a name. Um, he deserves a name. He does. We'll have to wear Brian we'll get on Killer there. Vaughn. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, whatever. Hey, we can run with it. Sheriff of Babylon number one, a Vertigo book. Check it out. That sounds uh, cool. New number one, uh, Toil and Trouble number four. That's a Caitlin hey, pick. A Caitlin we'll book. let her talk hey, about man, that. I, I, what's his name? One, one of our one of our regular customers, Michael, was talking about it. Oh yeah. And he says he loves that book. Yeah, there's some people that really like that book. Yeah. I read so much, I, I can't read everything as much as I try to. Yeah. Last thing I'm going to say: a bunch of image firsts, number one. Books. Oh yeah. Birthright. If you're ever looking to try Birthright, now's your chance, and you can do it for $1. Yeah. Uh, B Planet. B Planet, number one. Copperhead. Copperhead. Copperhead's good. Yep. Descender, number one. Descender. Now, I, I'm sorry. I have to pipe this book up. Go ahead. Nowhere, man. You need to read it. Uh, this is the, you can get it for a dollar, number one. Yeah, a dollar. Come in and buy it, because Nowhere Man is fantastic. There's only been six issues so far. It's been on a hiatus for close to three years and finally it's coming back it's probably one of my favorite books out there right now and i am it's like me with birthright i am ecstatic that it is coming back fine i because i thought it was over I, I read it about a year ago i got into it and uh, what you gotta know the the tagline of the series is science is the new rock and roll check it out uh, Odyssey number one, Phonogram number one, Sunstone number one, Wayward number one, Descender number one, The Humans number one, and lastly, Walking Dead number one. Walking Dead number one. All all number ones, all image first books. You can try if you were looking to try out any of these image books. This is your way of trying it for one dollar. You can't lose. 
Give me a recommend for Christmas Birthright number one. I, I recommend like most of those. <laughs> yes, and Descender number one. But we got like 20 seconds. Michael, anything yeah. you want to say as we close? Nowhere Man number one. Come up here and buy it. It's a dollar. You need to do it because it's awesome. Don't forget our, our Big Bang Talks Comics meetings next Monday at Big Bang Toys, Comics, and Games. We got them. Buy BigBang.com.